So I'm getting ready to check the charge on my new train communicating system and I go to check my suction line and I see this the cap doesn't actually look like it's melted but there's black rubber plastic looking stuff all over that and down here that is one of the ugliest brazes I think I've ever seen especially on a brand new unit biggest thing that bothers me is this crap right here that could be oil so I guess we'll check the charge and see what it looks like all right so we're gonna hit variable speed charging mode in cooling hit next Charging mode is only approved for system charge, 55 and 120 outside, indoor between 70 and 80. Hit test, run test, and we will let it run. It took some doing, but I got the Schrader core out and the black on that tip is definitely disturbing because you don't blacken the inside of a unit like that if you're purging nitrogen like they tell you to it didn't want to come out probably because it was stuck to something inside checking the charge now systems stabilizing is what the control says it says it'll take 20 minutes to stabilize Right now the charge doesn't look terrible, but it doesn't look great either. My superheat's definitely high, but my subcooling is much lower than it should be. All right, so I'm gonna call this pretty decent for the time being. I haven't finished all my duct work. My target subcooling is nine. Target pressures are pretty close. Temperature split is pretty close to target. 16.2 is our target, 15.3 is our actual. On a three ton system, it says we're running just under 1300 CFM. So, I'd say we're doing pretty decent. Once I get all the ductwork finished, we'll uh, see how it's going. 71.8 return suction line is still a little warm we'll dig into it more and go through more detail once I've got everything finished <laughs> 